ever wondered what uh, flash orders are and how they work in the New York Stock Exchange? Well, you're in the right place. Picture a bustling trading floor with the constant hum of activity. Amid this chaos, a certain type of trading order known as flash orders come into play. These are no ordinary orders. They're high speed, high volume, and operate under a cloak of anonymity. They're used to trade large blocks of shares in the blink of an eye, bypassing the traditional broker-dealer route and heading straight to the NYSE's matching engine. Imagine it like a private express lane on a busy highway, dedicated to those who want to move swiftly and unnoticed. It's a fascinating complex world. But who does it serve and who does it sideline? In the next few minutes, we'll delve into how these flash orders work and who stands to benefit or lose from them. So, how do these flash orders actually work? Well, the process begins when traders fill out a specific form. This form details the number of shares, the price, and the type of order. Crucial to note is that these orders are not routed through a broker-dealer first. Instead, they're sent directly to the New York Stock Exchange's matching engine. This engine is like the heart of the stock exchange. It's where buy and sell orders meet. The matching engine works at lightning speed to pair these orders. This efficiency is particularly useful for flash orders, which are designed for rapid and anonymous trading of large blocks of shares. So, within moments, a flash order is placed, routed, matched, and executed. It's a streamlined process that cuts out the middleman and allows for near instantaneous transactions. Clearly, this is a fast-paced, direct way of trading, but who exactly benefits from this? Let's consider who comes out on top when flash orders are in play. First up, we have institutional investors. These are the big players. Think large investment funds and hedge funds. They use flash orders to build or liquidate vast stock positions quickly and efficiently. Next, we have high frequency traders. These savvy folks use advanced technology to execute a large number of orders at extremely high speeds. Flash orders are their bread and butter, helping them make gains from tiny price discrepancies that can happen in a flash pun intended. Lastly, we can't forget about market makers. These are the firms that are obligated to buy and sell stocks at any time, ensuring that the market remains liquid. Flash orders help them improve their liquidity position, making it easier for them to fulfill their duties. While these groups enjoy the advantages of flash orders, there are others who aren't so lucky. Now let's turn our attention to those who might be at a disadvantage due to flash orders. While flash orders can offer some advantages for certain types of traders, they can also create a challenging environment for others, particularly retail investors and long-term investors. Retail investors, those who buy and sell securities through brokerage firms, often do not have access to flash orders. They can find themselves at a disadvantage when trading against larger institutional investors or high-frequency traders who utilize flash orders to their benefit. Similarly, long-term investors, those who typically hold onto their investments for several years, can also be negatively impacted by flash orders as these orders can cause rapid price changes, they may increase market volatility and make it more difficult for long-term investors to effectively execute their investment strategies. These concerns have led to some criticism and regulation of flash orders. Flash orders, while advantageous for some, 
aren't without controversy. Some critics argue that these orders can lead to market manipulation and unfairness. For instance, they point to scenarios where large institutional investors and high-frequency traders armed with flash orders could potentially leverage their superior speed and access to manipulate prices, leaving retail investors at a disadvantage. The US Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC, has not been blind to these concerns. In response, they've implemented rules to limit the size and frequency of flash orders. These regulations are designed to level the playing field and prevent potential abuses. However, some critics argue that more still needs to be done to ensure fairness and transparency in the marketplace. It's clear that flash orders are a double-edged sword. They offer benefits, but also carry potential risks. As investors, it's crucial to be aware of both.